Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add the loop out ping pong expression. I will also show you how to add a modifier. If for example, you only want the ping pong to happen at the end of an animation, the loop out ping pong expression will endlessly loop back and forth between the first and the last keyframes. And you can add the loop out expression on all of the layers transform properties. I'm going to animate this clay circle so it starts on the left, it moves to the right, and then just endlessly loops back and forth. So I'll select the clay circle layer and tap P for the position property. Drag the CTI to where you want the animation to start. I'm just gonna drag it to the beginning of the timeline and go to the position property. I'll click on the stopwatch that adds a keyframe. I'm gonna move the CTI forward in time. I'm gonna click right on the circle and just drag it to the right. And if I hold the shift key, that'll make sure that I can't go up or down. It's just gonna stay on the plane. And I'll just let go where I want the animation to end. And that's going to automatically add the second keyframe. And when I tap the space bar to preview the animation, you'll see when the CTI gets to that second keyframe, the animation stops. To add the loop out, ping pong expression, press the option key if you're on a Mac, alt if you're on Windows, and click on the stopwatch next to position. Then you're gonna type out loop out with lowercase l, OOP, capital O, UT, open and close parentheses, open and close double quotes, and between the quotes, you're gonna type out the word ping pong, P-I-N-G, P -O -N -G. I'll click away or click off of the expression editor. So I'll tap the space bar and this will loop back and forth forever. So just remember that the loop out ping pong expression is animating between the first and the last keyframes. And it doesn't matter how many additional keyframes you have between the two. So if I drag the CTI right between the two and move the ball up a little bit, that adds that third keyframe. It's still going back and forth between the first and last keyframes and everything in between. And remember, you can use the ping pong expression on other layer transform properties. So let's try it using the scale property of this clay heart. First, I'm just gonna drag the CTI or the playhead back to the beginning of the timeline. I'll select the heart layer and tap S for scale. I'm gonna click on the stopwatch next to scale to add a keyframe. I'm just gonna move the CTI forward just a little bit. The scale is at 25% currently, so I'm gonna bring it up to let's try 30. That adds another keyframe. I'll move forward in time, just another couple frames, and I'm gonna bring it back down to that 25. Hold Option on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, and click on the stopwatch next to scale. I'm gonna type out loop out, lowercase l, O-O-P, capital O, U-T, open and close round brackets, open and close double parentheses, type out ping pong, P-I-N-G, just hit enter or return, click away. Now we have a heart that is going to beat forever. And now I will show you how you can add a modifier to the ping pong expression. If maybe you only want the ping pong or the endless loop to happen between the last two keyframes or between the last three keyframes, to add a modifier, click inside of the ping pong expression, put your cursor at the very end between the double quotation mark and the last parentheses, type in a comma, and then just enter in a number. I'll enter in the number one, which tells After Effects to start at the last keyframe and go back one keyframe. When I bring the CTI back to the beginning, I'll tap the space bar You'll see the animation starts at the beginning, but when it gets to the last keyframe, it's only gonna ping pong or repeat between those last two keyframes. If I want it to ping pong between the last three keyframes, I'm gonna enter in the number two. So this tells After Effects, start at this last keyframe and count backwards two. And those big squares are keyframes. So one, two. Now when it gets to that last keyframe, you're gonna see it's only gonna endlessly repeat between the last three keyframes. And if you ever lose your ping pong expression, tap the letter E two times, so EE -E, to reveal all expressions. That is the ping pong expression in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy, cheers.